Now, when the Germans occupied various countries in the Second World War, they'd raise um, a paramilitary police forces within that occupied country. Usually, it consisted of local volunteers who lived in that country because if you're going to occupy a country, nobody knows the country better and the local landscape and the local layout. Nobody knows it better than the people that live in that country. So what they used to do is, they used to raise paramilitary police forces, usually under command of the SS, and they'd reissue them with German kit. Now, they'd reissue them with old stock German helmets recalled off the battlefield, which in some cases would have had various decals on them, army, um, Luftwaffe, things like that. They'd physically remove the decals off them, and then they'd put on both sides of the helmet either SS rune decals, or they'd hand stencil SS runes on them. So this is something that came in from Denmark. It's a German model 42 steel helmet. We'll undo that and have a look at it. Model 42 pattern. Again, I'll get this layout right one of these days. Model 42 pattern. Model 42. The vent is stamped as part of the helmet. The edge flares outwards. That's a model 1942. This has been a single decal Luftwaffe helmet. But the eagle decal has been physically chiselled out of the paintwork and then on both sides it's had hand stenciled SS lightning flash runes on both sides so this was issued to a member of the Danish SS volunteers who were more or less a police force so let's say for argument's sake it was issued to a member of the Danish police force under the Nazi occupation never been messed with and as you've seen from some of the German helmet books you look at a picture of a preserved German helmet and you think that can't be right, but this is 100% genuine. It's it's a documented modification. There's a guy in America has army and Luftwaffe helmets which have been decaled, and again they've been physically chiselled out of the shell, not scrubbed out. They've been physically chiselled out, and they've had hand applied SS insignia on both sides. So we'll have a better look at this. Now I don't know if it's shown because I'm, I'm looking at the interior there and it, it just looks like a black dot. So it may come up better when I see it on, on YouTube. But anyway, we'll undo that and we'll have a look at it. So this came in well, last night. So again, unmodified, never been messed with, just as I like them. And as I say, every German helmet tells its own story. And this is one that came from Denmark issue to a member of the Danish paramilitary police or SS volunteers. So I'll have a better look at it anyway. So just bear with me a minute. So model 42 in that the vent hole is stamped as part of the shell, edge flares outwards and as we can see, if I hold it up to the light, that's where the Luftwaffe decal has been. And down, so if we have a closer look at it, if I go like that, that's where the edge of the swastika has been. So that's square there, for want of a better word. That's where the swastika was. And you have the body, then you have the swoopy wings. So it's been physically chiseled out of the helmet and then it's had I don't know if we can see it you see there's there's one there S and there's one there S so it hand stenciled SS insignia to that side and if we turn it around again you can see more clearly there and then sometime probably after the war in the 50s somebody's taken offence to the SS insignia and they've hand scrubbed it off because that hand scrubbed area is much more brighter than the actual wartime wear and tear on it so that's been scrubbed off sometime in the 50s or the 60s but it still retains a good percentage of the original Luftwaffe blue paint so that's been a single decal Luftwaffe M42 
reissued to the Danish paramilitary police. Inside we have the liner, no chin strap, just as we like to see them, never been messed with, and it's a really nice, I don't know if we can get the detail on that, KL64, so it's a size 64 shell, so it's a really big shell, really nice item, just how people like to see them, never been messed with, and a proper, officially known modification of a reissued German helmet. As you can see, that's where the Lufty Eagle was. So yet another German helmet for the collection. As I say, you may be mistaken to think a German helmet is a German helmet is a German helmet, but they all tell their own story. So that came in from Denmark. Very nice piece of kit. A case of reissue to the local paramilitary forces. Bye for now.